Welcome back to the channel. I am really glad you're here because today we've got Brian Ackley, the Ack Monster here, and he is carving up the old silver maple and uh, we're doing some chainsaw art. So this is gonna be a fun day, so stick around. Welcome to my cluttered garage. You know I'm really glad you're here. Yeah. Hey, we got Brian, the Ack Monster here, and we're gonna finally carve this silver maple. Brian, I appreciate you coming out today. It really means a lot to, to have you here. You are Thank you for having me. You are a renowned chainsaw, what do you call yourself? Chainsaw artist? I, I am a chainsaw artist. Uh, <laughs> otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood chainsaw carver. That My he professional is. name is Act Monster. And if you want to look up the webpage, it's Act Monster's Chainsaw Art on Facebook or Instagram. Awesome. Well, I'm excited to see what you do here. We've talked about, you know putting some wildlife uh, carvings in here and I can't really, you know, I don't have the eye for it. I, I kind of know what, I've seen your work, which is amazing. And I just think anything you do is gonna be fantastic. Well, we can hope for the best and hope we don't get hurt and we don't disturb the frogs that's in this tree. That's right, yeah, we find a little, a little family of uh, tree frogs in a hole. So we're gonna steer clear of that. All right, let's see what happens. All right, let's start making noise. Thanks, Brian. Got the tools of the trade. All right, we have normal chainsaws that I, that I use. These are just your regular Harry homeowner saws, the one at your feet. Those are uh, 661s. They're one of the larger saws that they make. And for detail work, we have these 170s, which have a, a roller quarter tip and a solid nose dime tip which allow me to do the naughty things I shouldn't get away with with a chainsaw. Both of these have uh, special sprockets on them to run this type of chain. You cannot run regular uh, 3 8 low profile chain on these sprockets. But you can get them at any steel dealership for under 200 bucks. And are they specifically made for chainsaw? Art yeah, it was made for chainsaw work or chainsaw carving and uh, timber framing for making mortars and tendons and that kind of thing. And the other ones are just general saws for. They're just normal chainsaws that I use for abnormal work. <laughs> Right now he's starting at the top, he's up on the scaffolding, so I'll try and get some close-ups once he gets down at ground level. I'm learning as we go. So Brian uses a combination of gas, electric, fire, all the coolest tools.
You know, Brian, in the chainsaw world, there's a there's a steel Husqvarna debate. I see everything you run is steel. Is that? Tell you why. Tell the us. dealer was three miles away from my shop. <laughs> I'd rather run a Husqvarna. They scream. How about that? These uh, steels, they're kind of like between, uh, let me, I'm dating myself, between VHS and Betamax. <laughs> Betamax is better, but that uh, VHS had a better Better uh, marketing, campaign, right? Campaign, yeah, yeah. You know? That's true. Betamax was better. Yeah, Beta was better, but VHS won out. So you run all these steels, but you're a Husqvarna guy at heart. Yeah, because there's no dealers near me. Right. And gallon, diesel fuel is five dollars a gallon. Every little bit counts. That's true. Fascinating information there, directly from the Act Monster. So this was a great day watching Brian, the Act Monster, doing your fantabulous work here on the Hobbit and the door and the other items. I gotta tell you, Brian, what I was taken by is that I didn't realize you do so much more than chainsaw art. Like you went with chainsaw, fire, electric sander, can spray paint, brush paint. Like you're, you are multi-talented. Yeah, you know, if, uh people want color you have to master those colors and I, I complain a lot that I am a sculptor not a painter and uh, but I have to paint so and you do it well of course yeah. and <clears throat> one thing too I noticed and this is probably true of artists but there were several times when I thought you could be done but as an artist you you take it one step further like it's like at what point do you say I'm, I'm pleased with that because you don't ever say good enough. You're like you keep going that the one extra step. In my head matches what's there. Yeah. Because you know I, I didn't realize how little you knew about hobbits. Otherwise, I could have <laughs> finished this up about three hours ago. Yeah, you could have fooled me. I would have been like, hey, hobbits have furry feet. Where are the furry feet? But yeah, you didn't know I didn't uh, know that. Yeah. So, but truly, you don't, you know, you don't cut corners. Well, you kind of do. I mean, that's what you do. You cut corners. You but cut corners <laughs> off. <laughs> What do you think of this for a, a guy who, who does trim in a house? Like his slogan could be, I cut corners. Uh, that's a good be marketing. good, wouldn't it? That'd be a good Just marketing that. campaign, yeah. yeah. So if you're a trim hey, guy. The idea man right here. That's right, if, you, if you're if you uh, you install trim, your, your slogan should be, I cut corners. <laughs> <laughs> hey, seriously, Brian, thanks so much. Excellent job. Can't wait to show this off. And, All right, uh, I had uh, fun. We didn't hit no nails, so that was good. So everybody out there, love peace and taco grease. Come see me at Act Monsters Chainsaw Art on Facebook and Instagram. I've been telling them. You bet. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I invite you to join us. And I look forward to seeing you next time.